watching the Fox 9 Morning Buzz. Well, it is still February, but soon high school students will be on the hunt for the perfect dress for prom, but for many girls, buying a new dress just is not a reality. Right, that's where Operation Glass Slipper comes in. The local group gives away dresses and accessories to thousands of girls so they can enjoy prom just like every high schooler should be able to do. Joining us this morning is the founder of Operation Glass Slipper, Pam Phillips, good morning. Good morning. Good to see you, Pam. Thanks for being here. We've been talking to you for years. I know. Everybody yeah. knows about your organization. It's so wonderful that you started it so long ago. And it was after reading an article following Hurricane Katrina. Take us back to that exactly. and how th that inspired reading you. Reading Good Housekeeping and, and seeing how this girl had collected prom dresses in Chicago, sent them down to New Orleans so that these girls could go to prom. And I ran into my teenager's room and I said, we could do that. And she's like, yeah, we could do that. We could collect and send down there. And I said, no, I think there's a need here. Mm -hmm. And boom, that just opened up. The first year we had 500, next year 700, and every year after that it's been 1,000. Wow. All right, explain for folks that may not have ever heard of this, explain how this whole process works. Mm -hmm. um, you can go to your teacher or you can go to ogsprincess at gmail.com mm -hmm. if you're a girl and find out all about it. And you can download the form mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then after you've signed the form you go to our website and sign up for an appointment you show up at Southdale and we completely outfit you dress shoes purse jewelry and alterations if you're in the area and you need it for the dress even the shoes that's yes. very impressive and that means that a lot of people are helping out and donating and I'm we you have some models in the studio this morning to kind of show us mm -hmm. How gorgeous these dresses no, truly are, right? I know it. Okay, so we're going to take a look at them and then kind of take us through each outfit. Okay. Let's see. Who do, you, who do we have here? Hello, um, ladies. Haley. <laughs> Haley is in the green. Green, okay. Um, great color. Look at that, the beading. Uh, there are tons of dresses that are just encrusted. Right. with jewels and they're gorgeous this is not anything that comes out of you know somebody's basement these are all mm -hmm. gorgeous dresses the next one is a very popular style the two-piece shows a little bit of midriff mm -hmm. the mermaid the next one is called a high low where it has a little skirt and then it goes down into a train um, this is just an example of the thousands we take over over three thousand dresses wow yeah now Pam you uh at were you a, a fan of fashion? Were you a, are, is this part of your, your work and your thing? Or did you just get a, a whole, what is your, 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 your world of your background? You know, I majored in fashion design right. <laughs> at, at Madison. Uh -huh. And then um, never really pursued it. Was better at sales, mm -hmm. the mouth. <laughs> and, um, and then became the mom who did everything for the school. Right. And then it was just a natural thing to, I don't know how, I think reading that article just triggered something. Mm. And it's just been, it's been such a wonderful ride, and I've had such wonderful volunteers. Mm -hmm. And it's just been, we're going into our 13th year, and it's been awesome. So it took your skill set, and it took a need, and it mm -hmm. put it together, and yeah. it, it made that, that passion. Well, become. I am the engine, mm -hmm. and then I have a woman who's the caboose. <laughs> <laughs> Choo-choo. All right. You guys have, keep it, have kept it going for a while. You do have the annual Princess event happening in a few weeks. Tell us about that. March 9th and 10th at Southdale uh, between Macy's and Ruby Tuesday. And we go all day Saturday and all day Sunday. Okay. And um, if you're a girl and you don't hear about it until late, mm -hmm. then Sunday just walk in with a parent and okay. we'll take you. Pam, it is the last year. Yeah. This is the last year she's going to be doing this. Oh, wow. 13 yeah. years. So yeah. we want to let people know because obviously just support if you haven't been able to mm -hmm. in the past. But you are ready to move on because you've been doing it a long time. Yeah, and physically our whole board <laughs> is getting into our 70s and we just can't physically. We're hoping that there's some group like the J-Sets mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. somebody that would take it take over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think, well, the infrastructure is in place. Um, and so you've got a lot of knowledge that, you're, that can be passed on. The Bible is in place of yeah. the how-to. <laughs> right, it's right there. The, the yep. infrastructure is there. That's it just right. needs the bodies to continue That's the trend. Right. Because obviously the need is there. How many, how many young girls have you guys helped over the years? Over, 13, over 13,000. Wow. Mm -hmm. And this year we open. Now it's always been juniors and seniors. Mm -hmm. This year we said our last year we are going out with a bang. Mm -hmm. So we opened it up to ninth and 10th graders. Yeah. So we could get 2,000 girls and we'd yeah. just go out with... It'd be awesome. That would be totally awesome. If you totally get 15 awesome. grand, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah. People mm -hmm. will step up and support mm -hmm. for sure. Pam, thank you so much for being here. Thank We've you. Loved thank talking you for having you. us yeah. all these years. Every year, we appreciate it. Doing thank great you. work. And Operation Glass Slippers Princess event is happening Saturday and Sunday. That's March 9th and 10th at Southdale Mall in Edina. For more information on donations and how to get a dress, 
go to operationglassslipper.org.